peace love and light family i hope the sun is shining wherever you are i hope that you are living in your greatest purpose let's get into your messages at this time what message do you have for the divine collective spirit hmm. this card is coming out again eight of cups tapping into an energy of I'm getting the moon cycle, I'm getting intuition, I'm getting deep introspection, looking in, um, hmm. I'm getting the energy of someone who's wise, someone who is wise, um, someone who is older is coming in, this may be you, um, or this may be someone that you know. Hmm. trying to remove themselves from something someone who's older removing themselves from something okay let's see if we can get that okay so you may be the queen of swords here or you may know someone who's the queen of who's in the queen of swords energy um, very calculating, thinking, um, able to make, um, decisions, logical thinking. Hmm. I'm getting the energy of someone who is welcome you. <sighs> someone, hmm. someone who has a sword in their hand. while they have their hand out this is the energy of someone who's calculating something someone who may not be happy who, who may have ulterior motives is what i'm hearing okay more information about this eight of cups spirit okay so i'm also getting the energy of beginnings ace of wands new things new sparks um, this may also represent someone who's very energetic um, you may be in this energy someone who is strong is what I'm hearing someone who is strong someone who has strength from the divine is what I'm hearing I'm also getting uh, the strength card, which is giving the energy of um, hmm. I'm, I'm from this card. I'm getting the energy of someone who who is able to tame <laughs> anger, who's able to tame wild beasts. OK, so um, it's a lot of different energies here. So we have the eight of cups okay the queen of swords we have the ace of wands as well as the strength card uh, this is representing inner strength someone who believes in themselves okay more information about the eight of cups spirit okay so so I'm getting with the eight of cups this has to do something this has to do with something that you are moving towards I'm getting the sense that um, this is introspection this is you able to to think very clearly about what you want to do and able to make deci decisions for some of you I'm hearing that your ability to make decisions, uh, your sense of clarity is going to be heightened. And again, this is also giving the energy of the full moon. Your ability to see truth is what I'm hearing, um, is heightening your ability to analyze things. Okay. 
Tell us more about the Eight of Cups. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting the Chariot and the Empress. Okay, so Spirit is saying that you may be in an Empress energy. I'm getting the energy of some older person who's actually coming through here. Um, I'm getting the energy of some, yeah, some older person is coming through in this reading who's trying to help you overcome obstacles. This is the energy of someone who's also looking to illuminate some things regarding your circumstances. Okay, you may be in this Empress energy. Okay. You may be in this Empress energy to make moves is what I'm hearing. Or Spirit is saying that you, yeah, because both of these, both the Eight of Wands and the Chariot card gives the energy of something that you're moving away from and you're trying to do it very quickly. And Spirit is saying that this has to do with your wisdom, your wisdom to let something go, using your intuition to, to move away from something and move towards progress. Okay, um, for some of you, Spirit is saying that um, you get to trust your intuition, especially around this full moon. There may be a there may be a decision that you're trying to make, um, and Spirit is saying that this decision, uh, your ability to make this decision, is going to come to you very clearly. Um, whatever this decision is, um, you're moving towards progress okay you're moving towards your victory okay as you can see here you as the empress um you get to use your intuition is, is what spirit is saying connect to your intuition so that you can move towards progress and victory and for many of you this is a move towards a significant other this is a move towards a divine counterpart here okay and I'm getting with the eight. Okay, you get eight of cups and eight of swords. Spirit is saying that there's a lot of success and victory as it relates to this decision that you're trying to make um, regarding moving towards your progress. Okay. I'm getting the sense that this is, for many of you, this is a move towards a home. Um or a place that feels like home, a place that feels familiar. Uh, many of you uh, may be doing this or you're considering this uh, with a divine counterpart and Spirit wants you to know that there's great success and victory regarding this decision that you are thinking about making. Uh, and then we have the Ace of Cups on the bottom, which is Again, this is success and victory relating to this new beginning. Um, it's going to bring a lot of abundance. It's going to, this move for many of you, many of you are considering moving in with a significant other. Um, Spirit is saying that this is going to be opening the doors for you to let go of some things that are not serving your highest good and to move towards, you know, the beginning of something that's going to bring forth a lot more progress in your in your path tell us about the queen of swords um spirit is saying that to use your intuition okay so for this queen of swords spirit may be saying that you may be in the queen of swords energy or you know someone using this queen of swords energy hmm. i'm getting the energy of someone who's defensive okay. okay 
the Queen of Swords clarified with Queen of Pentacles. So for many of you, hmm. okay, so I'm getting different energies from this Queen of Swords. For many of you, while in this Queen of Swords energy, you, your ability to think logically, um, to your insight is going to bring fertility, prosperity, creativity, okay? It's going to bring forth your abundance, okay? Because we have the Eight of Cups. Um, it's going to bring abundance in your relationship. Many of you are also this, you're, you're basically in this Empress energy, Spirit is saying, you are also the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles you're very much thinking logically guarded able to make logical decisions um in addition you are also someone who is who knows how to basically run a business who knows how to grow your finances uh you're someone you know i'm speaking to someone who may have a business at this time um Okay, and many of you, your business is relate, relating to um, caring for others, caring for the welfare of others, caring for, you know, bringing balance, I'm hearing to the elements, bringing balance to the earth uh, in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Spirit wants you to know that whatever it is that you're doing uh, to thrive in your business, it's, it's going to succeed. This is giving earth energy. You're extremely abundant. Um, and also, for some of you, this Queen of Swords also represents someone in your energy that's that seems to be coming through for some reason. Um, I'm hearing that they have the sword in their hand and their hand out, um, kind of like, you know, in, in an energy of pretending to be pretending to be something um, to invite you in while they have a sword in their hand ready to hmm, ready to to cause harm okay and spirit is saying to you are capable as well to stand up for yourself you have keen insight okay and this is this is almost giving the energy of like someone who's trying to come to you in this energy of you know like they're pretending to be something that they're not um thinking that you know they're welcoming someone who has who doesn't have the ability to defend themselves and spirit is saying you know they're basically you know they're basically meeting their mirror image okay um yet they think that you know they're they're trying to lead a a a, a lamb to the slaughter for whatever reason you know it's like it's like the uh you know that scene from uh what was it was it snow white you know with the with the old lady with the apple you know she's like welcoming her and pretending to be this this sweet mother kind of figure sweet you know sweet woman while you know while trying to basically poison her i don't know okay spirit yeah um i'm i'm really getting with this seven of cups here this is someone for those of you who are dealing with someone that's in this deceptive energy this is someone that that's tried to create illusions around who they are you know they've come to you pretending to be something that they're not um hmm. and spirit is revealing to you for many of you spirit is revealing to you exactly who this person is uh, whatever hallucinations and, and illusions this person is has tried to cause spirit is saying that um, you are slowly um, for some of you 
you've all, you've been alerted about who this person was from the beginning okay you you receive messages from the divine in your dreams you know regarding who this person was um and i'm getting the sense that you know many of you many of you receive messages regarding who this person was their deceptive behavior their you know their them creating illusions around who they are in the situation and you receive messages from the divine that this person is not only um a snake is what i'm hearing um and also this person seems to be moving towards something that you have and they're working with other people who are basically trying to do the same thing and spirit is saying you're protected at this time and to look out for for signs regarding what this person is doing um and spirit is saying that you're protected you're protected from the illusions and, and spirit is also saying more and more you're beginning to see you know the true nature of this person and i'm getting the sense that uh you may be dealing with someone who's actually trying to um cause illusions or losses around you know your your financial stability here uh this person may be doing some type of uh this person may be doing some type of like spiritual manipulation type stuff to influence you and your queen of pentacles and your in your abundance here they're trying to basically sabotage i'm hearing they're trying to sabotage your business here you may be dealing with someone who's trying to sabotage your business they're basically uh whatever it is that they're doing they're creating illusions around who they are and they're trying to sabotage your business they're trying to sabotage your independent wealth your security um i'm getting the sense that they're i'm hearing that they're trying to pull the rug under your feet for many of you you've been alerted by spirit and and many of you your spiritual team is uh comes in the way of you know nature the birds and things that are around you uh this person is trying to create illusions and and trying to pull the rug look at this they're trying to pull the rug on from under you is what spirit is saying trying to cause ending backstabbing betrayal this person's an enemy okay this person's an enemy however it is that they tried to create an illusion around who they truly are spirit is revealing to you slowly who this person is and you are being illuminated to exactly you know your their true intent um and spirit is saying that their intent is to pull the rug from under you <sighs> my goodness tower they're trying to create a tower moment around you i'm hearing bankruptcy they're trying to basically <sighs> they're trying to pull the rug from under you re relating to your financial stability here okay uh trying to create you know uh negative types of um you know situations that will cause you to uh, that will cause your your a compromise in your pentacles in 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 what you have look at this but they're not going to succeed spirit is saying with this with this card here with this um five of cups coming upside down spirit is saying that this person is not going to be able to cause this loss whatever it is that they're trying to do they're not going to be able to cause this loss um mm, whatever plans that they had okay whatever plans that they have it's not going to progress okay this is also a confirmation with the six of swords here look at this they were trying to cause worry and anxiety and it's coming upside down that's not succeeding in fact this person is finding that they're the ones having anxiety and <laughs> and worries whatever they tried to cause is coming toward them and this is all sorts energy spirit is saying that the moon cycle this current moon cycle that we're coming into is going to illuminate a lot of different things it's also going to give you decisions regarding how you're going to move forward with this person 
um there may be some difficult decisions that you're going to have to make around this full moon cycle and spirit is going to provide you is going to illuminate your path in order for you to make this decision with the sun card coming you know really bright and and um right side up spirit is saying to move forward towards your positivity your success and you know for many of you this success is going to come by way of you know uh your abundance it's it's definitely coming okay okay let's see ace of wands this is new things that are coming towards you spirit wants you to know that new things are coming towards you uh this is a commitment that's coming towards you spirit wants you to know that you have a commitment coming towards you at this time um no more feelings of restriction um you're going to have the strength to battle anyone and anything that may have put you in this energy of restriction is what spirit is saying and as it relates to the strength card here spirit is saying that you're sitting standing resilient you have the power uh, in, uh for you to overcome all things um also you know your partnership your union all things that are positive are coming towards you at this time and spirit wants you to know that so basically you are moving towards your abundance your happiness as the empress and you have somebody lurking in the background who wants to cause a loss and spirit wants you to know that's not going to happen uh number 38 pachama she with the undian emerald heart okay uh, number 38 all right, number 38. Okay. So the goddess of the earth honored by the indigenous peoples of the Andes holds space for many different creatures to live within her field, including the beautiful, dangerous and divine humanity. She knows that life thrives through diversity. She's also able to foster life with such genius and generosity because there's no fear preventing her from holding space for a new to emerge. Be open to the new and the different in yourself and your life. Trust like the earth mother as an act of devotion. Um, she is watching over you as you evolve to manifest the fullness of your sacred and original life purpose. So spirit is reminding you at this time that whatever this person is trying to cause, you're going to overcome it okay that nothing nothing good shall be held from you that whatever it is that this person is trying to take from you they cannot take it because they didn't give it to you and you get to move forward knowing this um number 11 may be significant three and eight so spirit is letting you know that doors are opening up for you that you have success you're able to move forward in love and in life Okay, but you got definitely got some haters in the background, you know, trying to cause sabotage in your stability. And spirit is reminding you that they're not going to succeed regardless of whatever it is that they try. Okay, so you moving towards your abundance, you moving towards your success and victory. Okay, this is what spirit is reminding you of that you have coming towards you very quickly at this time. Okay all right y'all that's the message that spirit has for you moving on <laughs> okay if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time 